And now, Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. This is a live look at Fox Mountain right now. And, you know, I, I typed in the script. Luckily, the wind isn't strong out there, but you could see right there the, the sock, the flag, it keeps going. And, you know, but we do want to let you know that red flag warning in our area, that's been extended through Tuesday. And our meteorologist, Brian Ramsey, is live in the Storm Tracker Weather Center. And, Brian, I mean, it's a good thing we don't have any fires out there right now, right? Yeah, you know, out of that camera, yeah. that's Modoc County. No red flag warning out there. Winds haven't gotten above 20 mm. miles per hour out there. Still a little dry out there, though, which is still a concern this time of year. But here in the valley, we have a red flag warning that was in place yesterday and will stay in place all the way through Tuesday. So yeah, fire danger is not going anywhere. A live look from Concal, lots of blue skies out there, lots of sunshine, very stable air, but very dry air. 15 to 13 percent humidity across a large part of our area. So that is critically dry out there. That means it's going to be easy for a spark to turn into flames. And with the winds we're seeing, those flames can quickly spread and become a large wildfire. Now, thankfully, we haven't seen that today, so that's great. Yesterday we did, but today we haven't. So you always want to stay on alert because the chance is still there, even right this very second. So stay on alert. Mountain regions, though, winds are pretty light at the moment. We have seen wind gusts between 30 to 40 today, though. Fire danger is continuing, though, because of the weather setup we have. We're being sandwiched with a high pressure system to the left or to the west and a low pressure system to our east to the right of us on this map and these two systems rotate opposite so they kind of act together to bring very strong north winds in our region north winds go down the mountains whenever air drops it's very dry loses its moisture and so we're seeing that dry air with windy conditions which it kind of ties into the fire danger that we're seeing and that's going to stay in place through tuesday now it was through monday now it's through tuesday uh, for the valley and for the foothill regions very gusty winds very dry conditions and very warm temperatures so if you want to prevent wildfires make sure you know if you smoke cigarettes just dispose of them properly don't throw them out the window or uh, if you're driving make sure chains aren't dragging on your car because that will cause sparks on the road certainly as well we had a fire on the side of the road on 99 just yesterday uh, who knows how that one was caused but it could be something well, dragging on your car, you never know. Use power tools and equipment smartly and don't use them in the afternoon, only use them in the morning. Unless it's a red flag warning, then don't use them at all because it'll still be dry in the morning during red flag warning conditions. Look at the wind gust future cast. We're still going to see those winds sticking with us tomorrow, gusting up to 40 miles per hour again. So get ready for that. We'll see the winds lasting into Tuesday. The temperatures outside, though, still very warm at the moment. Tonight, they'll be a little warm, only hitting the low 60s by the morning, 30s in the mountains and then tomorrow afternoon we're back to 90 degrees your seven day forecast in Chico 91 for a high tomorrow and then that heat wave comes on Tuesday and sticks around with us for the rest of the week we hit a high of 96 on Wednesday and Thursday but we cool off a little bit next weekend in Reading 92 for a high on Monday and then we're topping off at 98 on Wednesday so it is getting very hot in that forecast you're going to want to use that AC on Wednesday but once we get to next weekend those temperatures finally get back into the 80s thank you Brian is it too late for it to be lemonade day or sun what was it <laughs> that's that already like passed ago. but ah, uh, it's never okay. too late to have lemonade that's, that's very true. true that's very true a little bit of sugar and a little bit of ice